My name's Hermione Lee and I'm publishing a book called Biography, which is one of Oxford University Press's very short introductions. The reason that I've written a book called Biography is that I am a biographer. Uh, I've written a couple of big biographies of women writers, uh, Virginia Woolf and Edith Wharton. I've also written a collection of essays about life writing called Body Parts. And I teach a course on biography and life writing. And I'm very interested, uh, not just in writing biography, but in why readers are so fascinated by the form. Um, I'm interested in what it is about other people's stories that makes us want to read them and how those stories can be told. So my book is partly a little potted history of biographical form. It goes right back to the very earliest possible definitions of biography and takes us right through to the present. And in doing so, it sees a lot of recurrent issues and, and patterns that keep coming through. One of which, which interests me very much, is do we read biography because we want to read about people who are different from ourselves, or do we read biography because we want to read about people who are very like ourselves? So is it about identification and empathy? Or is it about strangeness and otherness? And those kinds of conflicts are the sorts of things that I'm very fascinated by. So it's partly a history, and it's partly about the popularity of the form and the way in which, because it's quite a mixed form, because it incorporates all kinds of things like obituaries and elegies and gossip and saints' lives um, and sort of public performance, uh, it's also a form which has been rather distrusted by critics and by academic institutions. So biography has tended to be sort of on the outside looking in, where poets and playwrights and novelists have taken up residence inside academic syllabuses. So one of the things it's asking is about what kind of a genre is it and, and how has it been treated. And the other thing it's doing is looking at the sort of nuts and bolts of biography. How does it start? Um, uh, what tense is it written in? Do people talk about their subject in by their first name or by their surname? You'll find that if, it, if it's a woman, they'll very often use the first name. And if it's a man, a famous man, they'll often use the, the surname. Uh, is group biography a more rewarding kind of uh, genre than the single biography? What about biographies of people who you've never heard of? Obscure lives, as Virginia Woolf used to call them. So it's about what kinds of biographies get written and what kinds of um, tactics and strategies biographers use to draw you in. Uh, Elizabeth Gaskell, when she was writing A Life of Charlotte Bronte, said, if you love your reader, get anecdotes. And it's partly about storytelling and how the stories get told. It's also about beginnings and endings, and that seems a good place to end.